Going off on a tangent, mastering conversational diversions. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, going off on a tangent. This phrase is commonly used in both formal and informal conversations, and understanding it will not only enrich your vocabulary but also help you navigate through English dialogues more effectively. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and see some examples in action. Going off on a tangent refers to the act of suddenly changing the topic of conversation to something that is only slightly related or completely unrelated to the original topic. Imagine a straight line in a conversation, and then suddenly, it veers off in a different direction. That's what this phrase visualizes. It's like starting a conversation about the weather and ending up discussing your favorite type of cake. This can happen when someone gets a new idea, recalls a memory, or simply wants to change the subject. The term, tangent, originally comes from mathematics, referring to a line that touches a curve at a single point without crossing it. This concept metaphorically applies to conversations where the shift in topic touches the original subject but doesn't fully intersect with it. Understanding this origin helps to visualize why the term is used to describe conversational detours. You can use this phrase when you notice that the topic has suddenly changed or when you yourself are about to change the subject. It can be a polite way to acknowledge the shift, signaling awareness of the diversion. For example, sorry, I went off on a tangent there. Let's get back to what we were talking about. You were saying about your vacation, but I think we went off on a tangent about movies. Being able to recognize when someone is going off on a tangent can help in steering conversations more effectively. If you're in a formal setting or a time-constrained discussion, gently guiding the conversation back to the main topic is important. On the other hand, in casual settings, Tangents can lead to interesting and unexpected discussions, so they're not always a bad thing. Understanding and using the phrase, going off on a tangent, can add depth to your conversational skills in English. It's a handy phrase for navigating through the natural ebb and flow of discussions, whether you're aiming to stay on course or explore new topics. We hope this video has been enlightening and that you'll feel more confident in your English conversations. Until next time, happy learning, and don't be afraid to explore where your conversations take you, even if it's off on a tangent.